Coach, you sat there like, what, three weeks ago for the senior day and you talked to us for like half an hour. Did you, in your, I mean, when you sat down and really thought about it, did you think you would be back three weeks later talking about the final school week? Uh, no, not really. Um, but, you know, I would appreciate it for everything that's happened uh, for our team and for our coaching staff and for all our fans uh, to get us back to where we are. I mean, you know, I couldn't be happier for, uh, you know, our freshmen for what they've done for us and uh, how much they've matured this season. And uh, just for our veteran guys finally stepping up and uh, playing like they, like they know how to play. Josh, how would you describe the difference between exactly a year ago and today in your life? Uh, complete 180, I'd say. Uh, you know, last year I didn't play at all. Uh, just sat and watched. Uh, you know, it was still fun, though, because we were 38-3, and three, or 35-3. and three, But, uh, you know, I had fun last year. But this year has just been a... Uh, I guess a dream, I guess a dream come true, you know, we're in the Final Four, uh, you know, I'm playing significant minutes, um, helping my teammates win games that I never thought I'd be able to do, and uh, it's just, it's been a, a great ride, and uh, I'm planning on continuing a little longer. What's it like when you look at the tape and see yourself working against Sullinger and getting things done, or working against the Zeller and getting things done, what's that like to see yourself doing these things? Uh, it, it's cool just uh, seeing you play against great big men like them and uh, being successful and uh, being able to, uh, I guess, guard them and not let them, you know, just take over the game and uh, being able to match them uh, step for step in what they do and you do. And, uh, and one of, especially when a lot of people doubt you the whole time, saying, you know, they're, they're going to get killed on the inside and you can't guard him and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, all that I just use motivation and, uh, you know, energy to come out and play harder. So I, I like when people say that about me because it makes me want to come out to beat. What do you think it says? What do you think it says about your work ethic? Um, I didn't really. Uh, I've always had a work ethic, but uh, I really didn't use it much. I guess for my first two years here. <laughs> but uh, you know, they brought out me this year, and uh, I've, I've, to, uh, I've worked so hard. And, uh, my work ethic's been something that has been since high school, and. Uh, I'm glad to get it back, and uh, I plan on keep working this hard, you know, until I'm done playing. Why is that? Because uh, you know, uh, there's opportunities now, uh, a lot of opportunities to, you know, go to the next level, and uh, you know, a lot of a lot of talk, and uh, so I'm just gonna keep doing the little things I do, and the you know, the hard work and dedication I've been giving out this year, and hopefully I can make the most of it next year. Josh, has this three weeks changed the way you looked at like the professional future? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, everybody's always said you got the ability, you know, you got the size, you got the hands, you got the feet, uh, you know, you can shoot the ball. So I've, everybody's always told me I've had the ability, but now I've, I've got the, you know, the hard work to go with it. And, uh, you know, just everybody's telling me now I can, I can make money at the next level, you know, somewhere. So I'm definitely uh, going to keep my hopes high for the next level. But, uh, you know, right now we're just, I'm just focused on UConn and I'm just going to let things happen from there. Can you, can you point out one thing maybe you've done differently here over the last you know, couple of months in your game that's led to the success you've had? Um, just, I'd say just my confidence level and uh, my determination. Because, uh, you know, it's my senior year, and any game can be my last game this year. So I'm just trying to make my season last as long as I can. Um, and I'm doing whatever I have to do for my teammates to make us win. How much of that was going against Ennis every day in practice? Uh, that, helps a lot. Yeah, that helps a lot because uh, going against him every day, he's making me a better player uh, every day in and out, um, just competing against him, doing drills with him. Even if I'm not even going against him, just uh, watching him uh, do something, you know, I'm trying to match what he does. And uh, just doing that makes me more confident. And uh, being able to stop him in practice and playing against him every day, playing against the best of the best, uh, just makes me go into every game knowing that, you know, I'm not going to play somebody as good as Ennis. Well, I was going to ask you that. How does Ennis, the competition you get from him, Sollinger, Zeller, and, and Oriaki. Uh, they're all they're all different in so many ways. Um, you know, Jared Sollinger, he's a he was he was a real a big guy. Uh, knew how to use his body really well, and uh, he was a good finisher on the rim. Um, you know, Oriaki's really explosive guy, um, real strong, uh, physical, and uh, Zeller. You know, he's he's taller than he's seven foot. Uh, he runs the floor like almost better than every big man I've ever seen run. Uh, he's a great athlete. You know. Ennis is kind of like all three of those guys combined on one. Um, you know, he can he can run the floor. He, he's not seven foot, but he can run the floor. Uh, he he's, he has a big body, knows how to use it, and uh, you know he can even step out and uh, shoot the 15, 70 foot like Zeller can. So he, he's kind of like all three of them combined on one. And he's just going against him just uh, gives me a different advantage, I think, coming to games. Josh, Josh,